so fornication. What does God tell you? That's why he tells you to get a wife. Right? So 1 Corinthians 6 and 18. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man does is without the body. But he that commits fornication sins against his own body. So every other sin you do is without your body. But fornication is against your own body. That's why it says God is able to kill the body and the soul. Fornication is really lewd and unclean before God. Just repent and get a wife or get a husband. 1 Corinthians 5 and 1. But I also I want to say there's a reason why God gives you one wife and one woman. He, It's unclean for you to be sleeping around with other people. And you be you know you're getting soul ties and you're taking on the spirits that those people have like a lot of people have issues and you're sleeping with them and they never told you they're going through they went through childhood traumas they went through a whole bunch of demons and evil spirits that are attached to them that they never got rid of and people who sleep with you know prostitutes and things like that and people who are just sleep with a lot of people and then they take on their spirits you're wondering why you're you're starting to act like the person that you're sleeping with in like their bad traits the demons that are attached to them like you're unclean soul ties i have videos talk about unholy ties soul ties and you can watch those if you want but this is just about fornication i just want to touch on terio's video and um, he is right. Flee fornication. For every sin that a man does is without the body, but he that commits fornication sins against his own body. Now, 1 Corinthians 5 and 1. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you, and such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles, that one should have his father's wife. So that is... If you read in the book of Leviticus... Sleeping with your father's wife, that means you uncovered her nakedness and you shall be put to death. Sleeping with your wife's sister is you uncovered her nakedness. That means that, that you'll be put to death. It's unclean before God. He tells you not to sleep with relatives not to sleep with your uncle's wife, not to sleep with your brother's wife, not to sleep with your wife's sister, not to sleep with your husband's brother. God, that before God, that is wickedness. He said it's it's wickedness, and you uncovered their nakedness, and you sh both of you shall surely be put to death. So, like they have this, prom like people like to promote that oh. Like, I smashed her sister, I smashed her mother, I smashed her cousin, I smashed so much people in her family. Um, well, that means you want your death. Um, that's big sin before God. You need to, you definitely need to repent and baptize if you've done such things like that. And men think that's cool when that is the hottest place of hell fire for them to do such things all right so that's why it's reported commonly among you there is fornication even men sleeping with their father's wives now in 1 Thessalonians 4 and 3 for this is the will of God even your sanctification because it's unclean to do such things that you should abstain from fornication. So dating, you should abstain from dating. If you love somebody and that's your wife and God showed you, well, you should be praying and asking God who's your wife. You should be praying and asking God who's your husband. And you should marry if you, wanna for, if you want to make love because God did not create for you to have fornication. He created you to make love and to reproduce and to multiply and to be fruitful that
fornication is unclean before God. All right? It's a shame before God. It's wickedness before him because he only created you to be with one person. And your body and their body becomes one flesh. Bone of bone, rib of rib, blood flesh. And you're, you're supposed to have respect for your body, not to be sleeping around with all kinds of people. You're supposed to have, your, your body is sacred, especially your private parts. That's why it's called private parts, your secret parts. Because it's sacred, it's secret, it's private. You're not supposed to be just showing it out and dashing it out to everybody. That is for the person God created for you, for you to be fruitful and multiply. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. Ephesians 5 and 3. But fornication and all uncleanness, see it's unclean before God. So you know I'm not just talking to talk. I'm talking because I know what I'm talking about. Or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become saints. So... But fornication and uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become saints. Romans 1 and 29, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy. Because you see, like, as I said, people who sleep with family members of their, their spouse whether it be their husband or whether it be their wife, that is somebody who's full of envy against their brother or sister. That's somebody who's done wickedness against their brother or sister. That's someone who's done wickedness and against their own wife or husband. And that's covetousness. It, God tells you don't covet a man's wife and don't covet, you're not supposed to covet someone's husband. They weren't made for you. There's no reason that you should be sleeping with someone's husband or someone's wife. They weren't made for you. That means you're you're in sin. He tells you, covet not thy neighbor's wife. Right? So, and the spirits that these people are carrying, you don't know. So now you're full of envy, sleeping with somebody who was envious of their brother. And you slept with their wife. And somebody who was envious of their sister and they slept with their husband. You're full of envy, full of debate, full of deceit. That's deceitful behavior. So that's why God says, being filled with all unrighteousness, that's unrighteousness. Fornication, wickedness, it's wickedness. Covetousness, maliciousness, that's malicious to do such things. Sleep with your father's wife. Sleep with your hus your, 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 your sister's husband, your brother's wife. Those things are unrighteous, wicked, covetous, malicious, envious, murder, debate, deceitful, malignant me, whispers. Doesn't that cause a lot of whispering? Now, 1 Corinthians 10 and 8, Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day, three and twenty thousand. So, three, twenty-three thousand people fell and died. Because of fornication. So in John 8 and 41. Do you. You do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him. We be not born of fornication. We have one father. Even God. They're, you know why they're saying. They, they um, are not born of fornication. Because their parents were married. Now. Colossians 3 and 5 mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth fornication uncleanness inordinate affection evil conspicuance and covetousness which is idolatry so these fornication is idolatry uncleanness is idolatry inordinate affection is idolatry evil conspicuance is idolatry and covetousness is idolatry you're not supposed to want what someone else has galatians 5 and 19 now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery fornication uncleanness lachivitiousness now revelations 2 and 21 i gave her space to repent 
of her fornication. There's going to be a time when your your space of repentance for your fornication will be over. And especially a, a lot of you who have done uh, tremendous, extreme evils within your fornication, you have to repent. And she repented not. So what happened to the woman in Re Revelation who repented not for her fornication? Her judgment is God's burning her with fire. And that's in Revelations 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen. Remember the horror of Babylon is fallen. That great city. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Now, the children of Israel commit a lot of fornications. Moreover, 2 Chronicles 21 and 11. Moreover, he made high places in the mountains of Judah and caused the inhabitants of Jerusalem to commit fornication and compelled Judah thereto. So, I just wanted to read that. Um, and 1 Corinthians 7 and 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. So what? Let every wo every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. No fornication. Jude 1 and 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner given themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So what is your judgment for fornication? Eternal fire. Get yourself a husband. Get yourself a wife. Now, in Revelations 9 and 2, because you know the judgments that fall down in Revelations... It says, neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornications, nor of their thefts. So those are the ones where God throws brimstone and fire on them. Because they didn't repent for their murders, they didn't repent for their sorceries, for their fornication, nor for their thefts. Acts 15 and 20 but they, that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood. Isn't uh, fornication idolatry? It told us up here that fornication is idolatry. Idolatry. In Galatians 5. And 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. No, I'm sorry, forgive me. It did say it's idolatry. You can. Uh, where did it go? Forgive me, I guess I'm just. You heard when I said it was idolatry. I went through that. Oh. So you can go back, rewind, you're going to see that. I'm not going to go. 2 Corinthians 12 and 21. And lest when I come again, my God will humble me among you, and that I shall bewill many which have sinned already and have not repented of the uncleanness and fornication and leviciousness which they have committed. Yeah, let me see if I could find it back where it said that fornication is a form of idolatry. We know it's works of the flesh, and it is a form of idolatry. And you felt, some people fell in one day. going on here well I'm trying to find it people of God I know I read it not too long ago let 
Well, if you can go back, then you'll see it because for some reason I'm not finding it, but I just wanted to break down fornication. Stay blessed.